Yeah. Welcome back, everybody. This is Wolf Fallen, and we're jamming to music. Last time I got quickly into a battle. Uh, unfortunately, when I did that, I had to edit it and had to rush because this was before I had. I realized I had the greater than 15 minute thing. Ah, here we go. So here's the tree. You can see the little action button. You can ram the tree. And get a seed. Get some nice items. So just keep a lookout for... Just, see what I mean? Like, there's treasure chests everywhere in this damn game, but they're not treasure chests in any way whatsoever. Let's take them now. You got it, Ken. Alright. So I went really quickly last episode through a bunch of stuff. Hit attack. You can get some information. Digger bird. A. Front row. Front row. Back row. So if I try to attack the back row, uh, I'm just gonna defend. So I did very little damage there. Man, they did very lot, little damage to me. However, if I attack these birds, they're... Notice that their uh, GC gauge is kind of flashing a bit. That means that's how much HP that one is taking. Uh, defend for now, Jensen. Perfect. Yeah. And that rapid defense hurts like hell. Ow, that hurt like hell. Anyways. Uh, spell? Light magic? Meal? Basically cure. So now, right now, the CT level is down to level one. Did quite a bit of damage there compared to what a uh, compared to that nine, isn't it? So let's try this again. This time we're gonna take out that bird fully. The gauge is at zero now. So zero? Uh, I don't know. I think it only goes to one, sorry. So there we go. We're doing like full damage. So now we can attack this guy even though he's in the back row. We can attack him. Now, for attack spells. Black spells. Go to black magic. Uh, this guy... I can't tell. Later you'll get a... Later you get an item that tells you their weaknesses. Or an ability. Right now I don't have that. So, this is the screen. We went up a level. Uh, if you look over on the left, we have SP. We got three points. So, any immortals learning skills will now have three more points added to their skill list. And then we have medicine and quality iron sand. These are items we won. Uh, items, and the other one is... Um, raw material for making rings. To the right, we have the level. Level 11, level 11, level 12. And it's always, you always need 100 points to gain a level. Always. It will never change whatsoever. Uh, so Kaim learned level 1 white magic, Seth learned steel, and Jensen learned a level 2 black magic. So let's check those out. So, go to skill set. So he is now... Now that he knows Jensen's lo level 1 white magic, we'll get him to learn level 1 black magic. Now, 
And he doesn't have white magic anymore. He won't be able to use it. However, if you go to here, empty slot, you can select it, and there you go. You really have to remember to use the shoulder buttons. Uh, use level one black magic and steel. Head to equip. There, there we go. So there we go. A little bit more about the skills. So we've learned a couple of skills. So now he'll be able to use level one white magic and level one black magic. She'll be able to steal as well as use level one black magic. As well as Crisis Attack Boost. Yeah. We're going Jensen. So, let's see what we got for level 2. Black Magic. Sleep. Uh, it's a random element that damaged it. So, it could take out a good chunk or could do absolutely nothing. This video is mostly going to be me fighting things, just so you know. I'm running. Actually, I'm running now. No, no tree. Yeah, there's quite a bit to explore in these areas. They're not very, they're not completely linear. They do have uh, weird paths to them here and there. No, nothing there. Sorry, I was trying to get into a battle, but that was taking forever. You want a piece of me? I do. Hmm. So a little bit more about spells. Is that... We'll just attack for now. We'll go to spells. Black magic. Flare. Flare. Aqua. Wind. And ground are the four levels. Flare is strong against um, aqua enemies. Aqua enemies are strong against wind enemies. Wind enemies are strong against ground enemies. And ground enemies are strong against flare. So it's like a little circle. But anyways, for now, just cast some fire. So you can't do much either than... You're not going to be doing much either than attacking. So you should remember to heal after battle. Not like I didn't do. There we go. So notice that took out quite a bit. It's probably because since he's a ground type enemy, almost every enemy in the game has some sort of elemental affinity to them. Not doing much, but other than it's very similar. Candy from up there. Uh, I look at how much we went up. Jensen gained a level. I must have skipped over that, but oh well. Uh, so I have him learn thief. Have her learn holy night charm. So you can check here on the skills, the three red dots represent um, how much it's done, how much the skill is complete. When they're full, it means you're completely done, so you can learn a new skill. So always keep keep track of that, and try to learn new spells as much as possible. Like I said, it's just like Final Fantasy VIII. Um, so, next five minutes I'm gonna kinda talk about the leveling up system. It's, it's a very interesting one. This game actually ground. That's You'll find magic spells as you go around. This game has a sort of a level cap to it. Similar to Chrono Cross in the sense that... Chrono Cross, you'll get a big level up and then you'll... get a bunch of little level ups to a point and then you won't... Eventually, you'll uh, you'll stop getting anything. 
check all the trees. But um, this one's sort of similar. All the characters only require 100 experience points to level up. Every level. 1 through 99. Or 100, I don't know, I've never actually reached it. They only need 100 every time. Now, what makes this very different is, is the experience is based upon your level, your average level, compared to your enemy. So say you're on level 10 and your enemy is on level 10. Uh, sleep slot, seed slots, I'll get to those in a minute. If you're both on level 10, after you defeat the enemy, you'll get, say, 25 experience points. So you'll have to fight an enemy four times to get to level up. Now say that the enemy is level 15 and you're at level 10. And what, it, what will happen is it's, this enemy is obviously much stronger than you. So, if you manage to defeat this enemy who has a greater, uh, more strength than you, before when he was at level 10 you'd only gain 25 experience points, now you'll guarantee you're gonna get 75 experience points. I'm just making up random numbers, they, c they can change at any time. Ah, uh, white magic. So yeah, the enemy is stronger than you, you'll gain a lot more experience. So this is good, this can be, this can mean good leveling up for you. I mean, if you're a power leveler like I am, where you go and you fight enemies in that are, ex level is greater than yours, like I fight enemies that, whose level exceeds mine for the most part. And if you do this, you'll be able to gain levels really, really quickly. And what I mean by this is that you'll, like I said, like before you'll gain 25 experience points from an enemy who's the same level than you, but if the enemy is, uh, is five levels above you, you'll gain three times the amount of experience. So that's good. I missed what I got there. However, this also works in reverse. I can't remember which trees I hit. This also works in reverse, meaning that enemies who are five levels below you might only give you two experience points. That's right. So if you fight an area where they're 15, they're five levels above you, you'll catch up to them pretty quickly, so you'll end up on level 15 quickly, and then you'll be getting, say, 10 to 15 experience points, and then once you pass their level to, let's say, level you'll start only getting, say, like, two experience. Jensen died, that's not good. Oh well. So yeah, so that's what I mean by a cap. So I mean, if you're weaker than the enemy, you might only have to fight the enemy once or twice. If you're on par with the enemy, you might have to fight him four or five times. Okay. If you're greater than the enemy, you'll probably have to fight him 50 or more times. I think if you're really far from the enemy, if your level is really great, you only get like one experience point. Ah, come on. Die already. 
So hopefully that's helped. I'll, I'll explain it further as I go along. Leap before you look, I always say. Jensen leveled up there. So, I'm going to end it here for today, folks. Thank you for watching, and have a good day. Bye.